that, honestly, this is for Kelsey's benefit and for you guys if you're at home. This will be on YouTube as soon as I can get it done, as long as we don't run out of time, which we'll probably run out of time. What time is it? Okay. No, 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 it's only like 10.50. No, 10.50. 10 so in five minutes. All right, so I'll have to do this quick. All right, so we're going to do a, a field diagram, okay, just so you guys know exactly what you're doing. Now, like that? Yeah, similar to that. Yours is pretty almost square, so that's cool. Um, all right. So basically, what you've got is you're going to do your traverse, your traverse survey first. Your traverse survey is going to end up looking like that. You're going to have some numbers up here, and you're going to have some numbers like that, okay, for the offsets. Everyone happy with that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Then you're going to use these numbers that you've got for your traverse survey, and you're going to be doing things like this, and then you'll join those dots, and that will give you your field diagram. Something like that. You happy with yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to do it. So, I'm going to make up some numbers. It doesn't really matter about the numbers. The process is the same. So I keep telling you guys. So, what you do is if your field happens to look like something like this. Oh, that's a terrible one. Let's try and do a better one, eh? Okay. Let's say that your field looks like that. Okay, that's what we're going to end up with. That's our end game. And that's why I should take photos so that I can see what it's supposed to look like and so I can see if it looks kind of similar. Okay, I want to look kind of similar. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, first thing you're going to do is this line along here is your traverse line. Okay, that's the one you're going to walk along, you're going to measure. And as you walk along, you're going to get to this point where you are perpendicular to that offset there. Okay? that's when you measure. Then you're going to walk up and you're going to be perpendicular to that one. And you're going to be perpendicular to that one. Okay? They're where your offsets are. That's a wonderful photo. It's a fisheye lens, so it's going to look no, weird, but that's all right. Panoramic, which is a fisheye lens, so that we can get green. Beautiful. Okay, that's fine. So, first thing you do is, if I can draw a little person like that, with a trundle wheel, you're going to walk the traverse line. Okay? When you walk it, you can do it one of two ways. I don't mind which way you do it. If you've got a really long piece of rope or something, it could be handy just to lay out the rope, make sure you stay straight. Otherwise, just walk the traverse line and measure it so you know how long it is. Okay? So let's assume you're starting down here and you're starting at zero metres. Everyone agree with that? Yeah. Okay? Then you're going to get up and let's say it's 45 metres in total. Cool? Everyone happy with that? Yeah. These are just numbers I'm picking out of the air. Now, when I'm walking up here, I walk my little body up here and I get to this point where I'm perpendicular to that line. Cool? Yeah. Up I walk and let's say it is 10 metres. So I put a 10 there and I'm perpendicular to that. Now, if you have already measured this line, then what you can do is you mark your 10, you've got it on your survey, then you measure out this way. And you go, wow, that's 10 metres as well. And you put it to the left because you walk to the left. To the left, to the left. Hopefully that's on the recording tape. Okay, yeah. then you continue walking. Okay, You know that you're at 10 metres there, you continue walking. Now you can do these measurements when you first do it. You can go, right, I'm perpendicular at this point. I'm perpendicular at that point. So you walk up, and your next one's this one to the right. So we walk up, and it's about, say, 20 metres. Now we've gone 20 metres, we've already at 10. So if we've gone another 20, where are we at? Awesome. So we're at 30. Okay? And we measure the one out to the right here, and we go, that's 15 metres. Happy with that? Yeah. Excellent. Then we've got one more, we're going to move up to this one, and that's, say, another let's say three metres. Cool? Yeah. So we measure up and we're now at 33 because it's cumulative. It's cumulative. So we've gone up three metres. Everyone happy with that? Yeah. 
Then we measure out to the left and we go, well, that one is 13 metres. That is your traverse survey. That's all of our offsets. Our last bit is just up there. We've done all our offsets. We happy with that? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to rub out my diagram with the person because, well, I want to. Next thing you do is now you're doing your field diagram. You have your traverse survey. This is what you use. You're starting at this point, correct? Yeah. And you are going to go up. Okay? Cool? Yeah. Now, on this line, you go up 10 metres and you've got an offset to the left. Then you go up another 20 and you've got an offset to the right. Notice how I'm putting the little mark out to the right now. Okay? Then you're going to go up another 3 and you've got an offset to the left. Now, notice I'm also not doing the cumulative now. I'm doing the increments or the gaps. 10 metres in the first one, 20 metres in the next one, 3 metres. If you add them up, you get to 33, which is where I was at. All good. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. And then the last one is 12. Everyone happy with that? Okay. When you've done that, you then add your offsets. Okay, first one's out to the left, it's 10. All good? Next one, when you've gone up to this one up here, you're going out 15. Remember, you're doing this to scale. So if you've used one centimetre to one metre, you're going to go out 15 centimetres. Next one is 13 out to the left, so we'll go a little bit longer than that. Show me someone walks in here. Then you're going to be going up 12 and you don't have an offset. That is the bare bones of your field diagram done. You then just join the dots. So that goes to there. That goes to there, and that goes to there. Okay? Join them up there, and your field diagram is complete. Good on. You've now got four, five areas, one, two, three, four, five, that you can calculate. You've got right angle triangles here and here and here, four of them, and then you've got one trapezium in this area. I find it easier if I number them so that I don't get confused as to which area I'm working on each time. Okay. That's it for that. Add up all your areas, calculate your areas, add them up. And you've got your area. For the perimeter, you're going to have to find the perimeter of each of those using Pythagoras. Add up all those hypotenuses and that gives you the answer. And that is all you need to do.